What is going on, folk? My name is Nimblethor, and welcome back to this mobile gaming quest I'm on, which is my journey of finding the very best mobile games every single day from Monday till Friday and sharing those games with you right here on YouTube. Now, today we're going to check out Bomax, which is a real time multiplayer, free versus free action game, which has some actual skill based shooter mechanics. It feels pretty much like Battle of Arrow. If you guys remember that game, I played that a long time ago right here on the channel. Now, the main difference, though, is that in Bomax, we write and shoot from a vehicle instead of from a horseback, but the rest of the game feels pretty much the same. So let's head into a match here and see who we get matched against. Now, the reason I said this game is skill-based, you guys will see very soon, is because it requires us to actually aim at our enemies with our weapons, and that is not easy. So right now, I'm using a crossbow here. The time has started, one minute and 35 seconds on the clock, and we have the three opponents over there on the other side. Now, luckily, there's no friendly fire, so we can safely shoot through the vehicles of our friends. Let's shoot the back of that vehicle over there. We're soon gonna get this guy down, so we will get our first kill. Oh, I was aiming for headshot. Headshots do deal extra damage, by the way. And we got our first kill. That is awesome. Let's see if we can get our next kill soon enough. Oh, look at those guys. We can hit those to get some sort of super power. <laughs> this game is so over the top, but I'm liking it, though. We can also tap either side here to move back and forth in an attempt, of course, to avoid getting hit by the enemies. Now, let's shoot this guy and get our second kill, double kill, and the enemies haven't even hit one of us yet. That is great. Now, there is a chance that we're fighting against bots instead of actual other players. Can't really tell. They did seem like actual other players, though, but they're just so bad that, <laughs> that it makes me think if uh, if these are actually bots instead. So far, it's 3 to 0. We have 3 kills. The enemies have 0 kills. And let's get our fourth kill there. We're doing so amazing here just with our crossbow. Now, we do also have a melee weapon which we can use. And we just have to aim at the enemy and we then move closer to them. Look at this. This might very well get us killed. But we're dealing a lot of damage. And I think... Wait, where did he go? <laughs> where did that guy go? Wait, we have to move back a bit again. I do that by simply not aiming at any enemy. Okay, let's take out this guy. I don't know where the other guy went, but I guess we maybe we killed him. Maybe that's it. And we finished. There we go. Look at our police car there. Yes, that is how you do it. Did the enemies even get a single kill? I'm not sure if they did. Let's have a look. No, they didn't. And we got six kills in total. That seems a bit unlikely, <laughs> to be honest with you guys. I think that's a bit unlikely that we actually got all of the kills. So most likely we were fighting with and against bots. That's my best guess. Now, as you guys might have noticed already, we have sort of a Clash Royale style loot box system where we have to wait how much time? Three hours and 42 minutes for this one to open. This one is going to take eight hours to open. And this one that we just got is only going to take 30 minutes to open. I don't have enough premium currency because we don't, surprisingly, get any premium currency for free. We often do that in these types of games, but we don't here, so I can't speed it up right now. Instead, though, we do have a bunch of other weapons that we can go explore, and all of these armor pieces can also be leveled up, as you guys can see, if we collect enough of the same type of shield. For example, this shield here, we have one out of four. Do we get three more of the same shield? Then we can level it up. Let's have a look at this Indian shield that we just unlocked just before. Let's see. It's not better. It doesn't seem to be better. It has less durability, and it has a higher cooldown as well. So I think I might actually already be using the best weapons I have Although it seems that this hand axe is better, is that it? Or at least we can upgrade it. Let's just go for upgrading it and let's see how strong it actually becomes. 97 in damage, still definitely not stronger than the baseball bat that we've already got equipped. Now we do have quite a few different types of crossbows though. Look at this one, for example, the triple bow. I found that one to be kind of cool. Let's try that one on. It's difficult to aim with because the arrows scatter a lot. So we won't be able to hit the enemy three times, or at least not the same enemy three times, but it might be very nice for sort of crowd control where we deal damage to multiple enemies at the same time. Now, going over the monetization, of course, we can buy more of these loot boxes and we can buy some items directly through in-app purchases, and these in-app purchases go up to just about 70 US dollars or so. So yes, there is definitely a way for people who pay money to get more items faster. With that said, though, we do also have what's called the trophy hunt that provides us with new loot for free when we get enough trophies, and there's also daily and weekly tournaments that we could get into as well. And also, when we get enough kills, we also unlock loot boxes for free. As you guys can see, we got this one right here. That's pretty awesome. That gave us some new loot. So let's go have a look at what we just got. I think we got a new Jeep, if I'm not mistaken. Or at least we can level up the existing one. But we did also get this one, the buggy car. Look at this. It has nearly the same HP as our police car. It has less defense, though. But it has more max speed and also more rush speed, more evasion speed. Uh, a large evasion area, slightly less dodge moving distance, and we can also only dodge two times instead of three times. 
Very tempting to switch to that other one, but I like intimidating the other players by having a police car, so I'm gonna keep that one. This up here is the trophy journey then, and you can view this a bit like a battle pass system, but without us having to buy the actual battle pass, which is kind of cool. So when we get three more trophies, we're gonna unlock 1,000 gold, and then 13 more trophies is gonna give us an Arena 2 crystal box. So let's go for one more round here in Arena 1. So far, we're doing pretty well in Arena 1. I'm dying a lot in Arena 2. <laughs> there are two game modes in Arena 2, though. One is the kill mode, and the other is the crown mode. And the crown mode is the new one, because that is where we get a crown for every player we kill. And then if the player has more crowns, we get all of them, which, of course, also means that when we die, we lose all of the crowns that we acquired. That mode is very, very chaotic. I would not recommend going into that as a new player. I'm still too new to the game to really be good at that. Well, look at our new bow here. We're hitting multiple enemies at once, exactly as I predicted. That is pretty awesome. Can we hit with three of the arrows at once? Yes, we can. Look at that, we're doing quite okay here. It is difficult to get a proper kill with this bow though, but it is very nice at crowd control, I gotta admit that. We're dealing a lot of damage to a lot of opponent players. Let's take out the, oh, we can help that guy. Wait, we can help him get back in his vehicle? Yes. I think we, or at least we recovered some of his HP. We're getting destroyed here, guys. Look at that. The enemy has one kill, and we have two kills, so we're still taking the lead. Maybe it's time to use our melee weapon, though. So let's get a bit closer to this guy over here. I'm gonna just go for the kill. Let's see if we can get all the way over there. Come on, before he takes us out. We're dealing a lot of damage once we're in here, though. Yes, and we got our first kill. We're dying very soon. I was trying to evade there, but we couldn't do it. 3-2-3, three, three. guys, this is more of an equal match what you're looking at here. Let's see if we can get this guy taken out. There's only 30 seconds left on the clock. Let's switch to the melee weapon and let's just go for it. Ah, our friend was standing in the way, but look at this. Phil Ciano, you're going down, my friend. Okay, now that we're close, we can actually hit him three times with this very strong bow that we're using at the moment. And look at him go. Now we just gotta kill him. And we got our second kill. Three seconds left on the clock. This might have just been the winning kill. It actually wasn't the winning kill. There's one more kill. But look at that. We finished. <laughs> look at that guy on the left. He's just standing there like, what's going on? I don't even know. He's dancing while moving forward. Uh, we got, well, in total we got five kills. We made two of those kills and we got a bronze loot box as well. So now that should have given us some more trophies and those additional trophies should give us more gold. Look at that. Now we only need to get 10 more trophies, which I think we can't get from Arena 1. We can only get two more trophies as far as I understand. And then we do have to go up to Arena 2. Now also, as you guys might have noticed, there's actually an entry fee to enter these arenas. So this has an entry fee of 300, whereas Arena 2 has an entry fee of 2,000. Now I am gonna go in for one more round here, just so you guys can see me attempting Arena 2. But before I do that though, I am gonna switch back to my old crossbow because I do prefer that one instead of the one that we used in Arena 1 just before. So this should be interesting. Now in terms of the monetization, overall it is a bit difficult to say if it will eventually get in the way of actually being able to enjoy Bow Max. Unlike Battle of Arrow, for example, we do not get a bunch of premium currency for free, so paying players definitely have an advantage when it comes to the premium currency. At the same time though, most of the matches have been very fast so far. Uh, it's just that the item upgrading system worries me a bit because if we have enough money we would buy endless loot boxes and that would allow us to upgrade our weapons and become much much stronger much much faster but as you guys can see so far it doesn't seem to be an issue it's still too early to say if it will be an issue later on but do let me know though if you have played bowmax a lot already and you have some insights on this matter i'd love to hear what you think about the game in the comment section down below now look at that attack speed increased and we got our second kill, at least for our team. I don't think I made that kill, but at least we got the kill. There's a Chinese player over there. I think those are Chinese letters, at least. At least Asian letters. I think it's Chinese. And we got killed. This is a very fair match, actually. Look at this. Two kills, two deaths. Now, regardless of the monetization, I will say that I'm really enjoying this skill-based combat system. It's one of the first times I've seen that, if not the first time after playing Battle of Arrow, which I think we played over a year ago at this point. So that's a rather old game at this point. So I would love to see more games implement systems like this. The only thing I can really think of to make this game even better would be to have some sort of friend system. We have started seeing that in some mobile games, a system that would either allow me to play local matches, that would be freaking awesome, but if not that, then at the very least just the ability 
to team up with friends. Right now, all of these matches are completely random. We teamed up with two random other players, but it would be kind of cool to be able to team up with our friends instead. And if we had done that, we might have actually had a chance at winning this round. We were so close, though. I think we made the mistake of not switching to the melee weapon early enough. We should have done that a bit earlier. Now we're down to 1,000 gold. So at this point, we're pretty much forced to go into Arena 1, which might as well just be for the better anyway, because Arena 2 is still a bit too difficult for me, I think. So while I go for one more round in Arena 1, let's get to the mobile gaming news of the day, which is that Drodo Studios, the developer of the Auto Chess mobile game, has now launched a $1 million esports competition in China. And that's pretty crazy, considering that the game literally just released a few weeks back. But then again, the game is just blowing up lately, so maybe it's not too surprising that the studio wants to gain as much market share as it can and attract as many professional players as possible, because I'm pretty sure that we will see a ton of more Auto Chess games in the coming years on mobile. If you have not seen my video on the Auto Chess game just yet, definitely go check it out. It might just be one of the mobile games of 2019 because of its great monetization, completely fair, there's no pay to win there, and the fun strategic gameplay. Most importantly though, I hope you just enjoyed this video, and until next time that you'll keep gaming, stay awesome, and then I'll see you guys around.